All right, here we are, uh, in, and there you are, Steve Pitts, our resident college expert. Um, <laughs> with NCAAs this weekend, we find anybody better, huh? No, no. Yeah. Donnie's out of town, or we'd have him. Fair um, with NCAAs this weekend, we figured we'd. Uh, you going? I am going. I'm going tomorrow night with you. Oh, nice. Um, we figured we'd we'd dive into each weight class and and maybe. Uh, uh, you stole my pen. Another pen there. People. We got people over here. Anyways. Uh, we, we figured we'd dive into uh, each weight class. Um, and we're not going to get too in-depth here, but... <laughs> Thanks. Oh, God, my man. Okay. Um, so we'll start with 125. We're going to maybe give the top two or four at each weight class and, and give some other thoughts. So are we going to go 120? We're going to do the first five weight first classes. First five, yeah. First five? Okay, good. All right, and then we'll take intermission just like in a duel. Yeah, what'd you do at uh, 125? All right, 125, I went, um, and it's tough because you don't know where Suriano's health is, but I went Suriano. Now, are you saying, I mean, what did you hear about Suriano? No. What was the issues? Or did I, they just sit him out? Well, he, he wrestled, and then they They pulled him in the semis? Or? Yeah. Okay. So, so he's I, probably fine. Probably, but okay. you don't know. I mean, so I went Suriano NATO final. And I went with NATO. Um, and then I went uh, Lee Cruz, third, fourth. I went with Lee over Cruz. And that was actually my fourth semifinalist as well. So pretty chalky. Pretty chalky, yeah. This way, and that's me, okay. It's pretty chalk. Um, What'd you do? I went a little bit different route. I had the top four seeds. Okay, getting, chalk. Went chalky, but I went Spencer Lee won. Going Lee over NATO. So never taking him down. <clears throat> Two matches. I'm going Lee over NATO. I think he gets a takedown and gets a ride out. Uh, I can see him getting And a then ride I'm out. going Suriano over Cruz. Mm -hmm. And then Lee to win the whole thing. I think big time players make big time plays and big time games. This guy's a world champ. He's one of the best in the country. He's going to be one of the best the country's ever had. I think he shows it right here. In his first NCAA finals, he's he certainly been on some big stages, so it wouldn't surprise me. Absolutely, um, he in my eyes, he's he's gonna be Kyle Snyder esque down the road, uh, where in the future he's gonna be a guy who's Olympic champ, world champ. He certainly and, has that, and I think pedigree. he I think he shows it starting this weekend. Okay, okay, I uh, kind of dark horse for me. Um, I went with Ronnie Bresser, who's listed as Ronnie Rios. So I don't know, uh, maybe as some different names there, but I went with uh, Ronnie Rios. Ronnie He's Rios, got the uh, <laughs> dyed hair, dyed hair, beat Spencer Lee this year. Did in, a, um, in yes, and he is Lezak in the second round, and I think Lezak sucks a bunch of weight, so I think that could he could catch him there. Um, and he's hard to take down, and, and, you know, I don't think they'll go down against Lezak. So, you know, Lezak's going to have to get a takedown or choose top. Um, and then I, I don't have him beating Cruz, but I could see him beating Cruz. So he's kind of my dark I see horse. That. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I think this isn't a dark horse, but I think if Cruz makes the final, it's not going to be a shocker. Uh, undefeated year. Returning NCAA champ, and we just kind of overlook him as... Really, everybody does. It's pretty uh, they amazing. overlook them. The kids, the kids pretty are stunned. Amazing. Uh, another sleeper is Edinburgh's Sean Russell. Returning All-American. Returning All-American. I think he squeezes in again uh, in AAs okay. for the Fighting Scots. I don't have him going. But. All right, let's go 33. All right, 33. Um, my semi-finalist, I got uh, Seth Gross over Cade Brock, and then I got Mich Michich over... Uh, Pletcher for the third time this year. Pletcher beat him earlier in the year, and then Meech just beat him pretty soundly the last two times. Um, and then I have uh, Pletcher and Cade Brock, and I have Pletcher winning that for third and fourth. And I have Seth Gross over Meechich. Okay. I'm not too far from you. I, I have Gross, Meechich as well. Then I go Pletcher and returning NCAA finalist Jack Mueller from Virginia. Mueller's beat DeSanto... A lot, a lot, three times. Yeah, right. uh, so I think I think Mueller's road back gets him to third and fourth. I think Pletcher ends up taking third for the Buckeyes and has a good weekend. Yeah, yeah. I have Mueller. Uh, I have him losing to Cade in the uh, Concy semis, so you know I have him taking fifth. 
but uh, certainly gross. One loss this year to uh, Bryce Meredith. Bryce Meredith at a weight up. Yeah. So I'm, I, that's why I'm going with. Gross. Do you think Gross? Who do you think in this bracket could beat Gross? Best chance to beat Gross. Mm. It's not till the final. Really? Yeah. I, I can I see it in the second round. Mitch McKee. Mitch McKee. Nah, I see wrestles him tough. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think you up will. Mitch McKee, uh, and, and Mitch McKee is a very good wrestler, but I think Gross is going to show up. Um, and I think it would be South Dakota State's first national yeah, champ. So I like there's Seth. a lot on the line for Seth Gross. Follows me on Twitter so for some reason. I'm not sure why, but good. that, it's my that boosts your ego. It did. It made good. me feel yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. All right, 141. Why don't you lead this off? 141 is going to be a fun weight. Okay, I don't know how they figured out the seeding for this, uh, but it is going to be a fun weight. I have Yanni Diakamahalis, mm-hmm. uh, freshman, Cornell. Then I go Joey McKenna, two. And that might be a little shocker, but I think McKenna's wrestling really well. Uh, wins the Big Tens, but, and okay, not the hardest weight class, but I think he's building confidence he takes second. Then I go Bryce Meredith, the uh, who could finish anywhere from first to maybe who knows, not AA. Uh, who knows? He just he he's funky. He's different. And then I have Jay Nyerman uh, coming in fourth. Fourth, yeah. I you know, and this is kind of one of the first uh, Missouri guys here in, in a long list. And for some reason, they're always overlooked, and they always perform well at nationals. I always. think M- Mizzou has. The, the ability to peak for nationals. They, they don't wrestle anybody during the year. They wrestle a Big 12 schedule, not the hardest dual meets. Right. They didn't go to any of the big tournaments, but I think their goal is nationals. Is nationals. So to see a lot of their, you're going to see a lot of their guys on the podium. I, this way, for me, I think guys, you know, one through six could win this. I mean, you're six yeah, Dean Heil. Absolutely. Dean, I, and you know what? I guess that's my dark horse for this group. Dean Hiles has been returning national champ. Which I, I know you did that earlier in the year with. And uh, you ripped me. And, and I did rip you, but here's why. He's truly been counted out the entire year. He's had a horrible year. What's his record? He's 23 and 5, which. <laughs> Terrible year. For a two time returning but national yeah, champ. He's, he's dropped some. Okay, he hasn't beat anybody that's ranked higher than him. Um, people have written him off. I think he is the one that continues the St. Ed's. All American streak this year. Yeah, uh, I don't know what that number's at now. It's but a lot. It's a lot. Twenty some years or whatever of an All American. I think he does it again. Now I don't know that he wins it, but he could. I got so for me, I got Meredith over McKenna. Um, although I think of everybody in this bracket, I think McKenna has the best shot to beat Meredith. Um, and then I went Ironman over Yanni D. Um, that's Yanni D's only uh, loss this year. Yanni D beat Meredith this year. Um, Wasn't there some controversy in there? In that match? Yeah. That might have been. I'm not sure. Um, I know Yanni was winning for most of it, and something happened. And really? That's Could why be. That's why I picked Yanni. So I went that, and I went Meredith uh, winning that, and then I have uh, Yanni D dropping down, beating Kevin Jack, and McKenna dropping down and losing to Dean Heil, and I have Yanni taking third over Heil. Going to be a fun wait. Excited one to watch six. this one. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's pretty excited loaded. Excited to watch right this one. Yeah. Um, and that's this is a weight too. I think that could have a big impact on um, team score. Team score because you know they they sneak Nick Lee in there. You know seventh or eighth. That, that's a wild card here. Um, Nick Lee. Nick Lee can go from all American to not placing pretty easily with with the the amount of good guys in this bracket. And if you look at his road here, I have him. A, I have him uh, beating Josh Alver and then dropping down, coming all the way back through, and he has to beat uh, Michael Carr from Illinois. Who beat him? Last week right. or two weeks ago at the Big right, Tens, right? So, so not a given there. No, not a given at all. But certainly they, you know, that that would be some big team points um, for for the Buckeyes. For, not the Buckeyes. Well, if they, if they don't, if they don't, if they yeah. don't, yeah. For the Buckeyes. All right, one forty nine. Uh, probably the most secure one seed. Would you say? Uh, yeah. In the bracket, in the in the, in the tournament, uh, with Zane Rutherford, um, I have Zane uh, beating Hayes. I have Hayes beating Heilman, which is avenging a loss from earlier in the year at Vegas. And then kind of my dark horse of the whole tournament, I have Kolodzik losing to Sorensen in the semis, but Kolodzik is an 11 seed. Kolodzik has a nice little quarter draw there. I he think. does. You, you don't like uh, 
Grant Leith. Leith. I do like Grant Leith, but I think uh, Grant Leith with the neck brace again, again overlooking Mizzou. Everybody does it. I think I think Grant Leith could beat him, but I'm picking Grant Leith. Good story. If you ever get a chance, look up what happened to Grant Leith. It, a lot it, of injuries and finally figured it out. With Almost the neck quit brace the sport, and, and now look, he's uh, on he, the verge of being an All American. Pretty cool story. Yeah. So I'm picking Kolodzik there, and then I have Kolodzik. Uh, Hayes for third and fourth. I have Hayes beating Kolodzik, um, which I think would be big for the Buckeyes if they could get Hayes to take top four there. Top three would be awesome. Yeah. I'm going Zane Sorsen. It's not a secret. Those two guys are making the final unless something crazy happens. I guess the 3 4 is a toss up. Yeah. I have Kolodzik, Deacon. Could be either order, 3 4. I think Hayes could be in there as well. I think if the Buckeyes are going to win it. Win a national title this year. I think Hayes has to be in that top four. Uh, those points are really yeah. going to matter there. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him there. You got any dark horses? I think Grant Leith is a dark horse. I do too. Um, kind of going to go out and say one last run for Jason Sertzis. Wow, Sertzis. Couldn't he do it? He's got, I mean, he'd have a tough road. He's got Deacon in the second round. And um, that that story there, the Northwest Deacon. First. Arizona State, or uh, Deacon uh, Northwestern, Sturtzis, uh Arizona State, former Wildcat. That, that's a, a nice little story there for I'd like uh, to Thursday see, I mean, evening. It, it, Sturtz has got a shot to beat anybody just because he can keep he can keep it close. Yeah. I don't know if he has the firepower power to beat yeah. beat the top guys, but uh, hmm. we'll see. We're going to find out. Um, that's top five weights, isn't it? That top is five? four. That's we got four. one more. Got one, one more. 57. 157. This is... For me, maybe the toughest way because you don't know. A lot know, of question marks. At question mark with Nolf. Question mark with Kemmerer. Those two guys, I think, coming into the year, people would have had them probably. <coughs> if you would have seeded this tournament at the beginning of the year, they might have been one, one and two. two. They're in the same They quarter. were one and two until the Big Ten tournament. They're in the same quarter. Yeah. They, they both. I think the, the, the uh, committee that does the seeding is sending a message to teams that you can't pull out of your conference tournament. Yeah. For whatever Soriano reason, Soriano is the same thing. Uh, I think they're punishing them for that, and uh, I like that. Though. We get to see that that match in the quarters Friday morning, so it's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah, and I think uh, I have Nolf winning it. I have Nolf beating uh, returning runner up Lavalley in the semis, getting to the finals, and then I have Hidley beating Shields um, to get to the the finals. On the other half, then dropping down, I have Lavalley over Pantaleo. Um, and I have Kemmerer over Shields, but again, Kemmerer. Lavalley is a returning runner-up. Runner-up, yeah. correct. And then I have Lavalley beating Kemmerer for third and fourth. Okay, I have Nolf Hidley. I'm going to take Jake Shields off, and I'm going to put Lavalley. I had Jake Shields. I think Lavalley gets another Missouri guy. Another. Mis- I, got, I love Mizzou. You are. Lo- I like Mizzou a lot. I'm going to put Lavalley, Pantaleo, and I do not like Michigan. So. Um, you know, if, if he doesn't place, it wouldn't it wouldn't be too bad as well. But um, um, that's my picks. Yeah, and I think uh, you know, depending on Nolf's health, if Nolf isn't healthy and doesn't make the finals, that's a big blow to the yeah to the Nittany. Lions. We have any dark horses in here that you're looking at? Oh, man, I uh, I don't. I'd like to see uh, you got. Shindell, the the Ed's kid there. I'd like to see him him get in the mix. You got you got uh, Shidel. You've got also uh, from Kent State, Casey Sparkman. Casey Sparkman. A lot of Ohio guys Mike, in Micah, here. Micah, obviously. So um, yeah, where do you think Micah's going to do? Kind of up and down year. I, I, I have him taking weird seven. results. You have so he does AA. I'm taking seven. He, he you know he's never really shown up at the uh, NCAA tournament. Yeah. So Any we'll shot he makes the final. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only reason I would say uh, I think he can beat Lavalley. I don't know that he does. I don't have him beating him. And then he'd have to beat a banged up North yeah, Carolina. I think his path would have to be upset Lavalley, which is possible. And then I think Ke- if Kemmer beats Nolf, I think he's got a shot. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's got a shot. So that'd be fun to see. All right, guys. We'll All come right. back for the uh, last five. In Thanks. the books.